Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to explain about Spring Cloud Load Balancing. I hope you guys watched my previous tutorials on microservices like what are microservices and what is test client and how to implement it with Spring Boot and what is Spring Client and how to implement it with Spring Boot and Eureka Service Registry and Discovery Implementation. Okay, now let's start about this Spring Cloud Load Balancing. Actually, before going to the implementation, I will explain a problem statement so we can easily understand why we, why do we really know this load balancing, okay? Let's assume we have a microservice and that is an e-commerce microservice and it is having only one instance because currently it is just receiving only 1000 requests per hour. Due to the low, uh, low load, we are just uh, created only one instance and let's assume there is some sale happening some offer sale and on the day the e-commerce site may receive millions of requests right now what we need to do only one instance cannot bear that load and it may give performance issues now we have increased the instances 1 to 10 so let's assume we got uh, 10,000 requests and the request will be divided thousand for each microservice okay now how we can do this distribution of load right now i will explain how we can do it with the spring cloud load balance and before going to start the implementation i just want to give some quick overview about these services i have service b and c guys okay and in the service b i have the endpoint here which will just receive an string as input we are using pathway boo for it and for communication between service B and C, we are using ping client. Even in the service V, we have an endpoint which will receive a string from, uh, which will receive a string and it will concatenate hello to it and return it as a response. For example, if I send anil as an input, it will send hello anil. Okay. And for interaction or for communication between service B and C, we are using ping client guys. Okay. And now you may get it out here we not mentioned any url for service c right how we are just mentioning uh, the service name and how we are interacting with it actually we are doing it with help of eureka server we implemented eureka server and registered all our service b and c to it so eureka server is managing um, communication between service b and c using the service name only okay i hope you guys know about this being client and uh, Ueka. If not, please watch my two previous tutorials of microservices. Okay. Now, what we can do means we need to add a dependency to our service B. Let me go to Spring Initializer and search for Cloud Balancer. Okay. Let me say Spring Cloud Load. Yeah, you have it. Cloud Load Balancer. Let me click on explore and let me drag down this. I can find this dependency. I, I'll just copy it. Let me go to the palm.xml of service B and let me paste it here. Okay, now let's wait for a few seconds for dependency to be imported. Now, here what we need to do means we need to create a config class. Here only we'll write some code for distribution of load guys okay let me say class load distributor config let me annotate this class with a direct load balancer client annotation and here in the value Let's specify our service name, service B. It is service C, right? We need to communicate with service C. So we are mentioning the service C name here. Now let me write some, let me create a bean here. Public bean dot builder bean builder. Here, let me return in not builder. Yes, sorry, just 
below not caps letter and here let me annotate this it has a bean and let me say at the red load balanced now let me start the applications here let me start the UI server first okay and then let me start once the UI server got started we can start the service B and C guys okay let me close all these classes up to now okay I'll have to wait for a few seconds it's still starting let me go to Chrome and let me hit our UX server sorry it's 8761 yeah yeah we don't have any services registered right now let me start this service B and as Java application and here let me start service C also now if you observe when we started the first instance it is running on port 9099 right now let me change the port number and start it as a another instance as I said earlier there is no need of port numbers right as we are using ping client and Eureka service uh, for communication purpose there is no need of uh, mentioning the local host or any port number in our service B for configuration we are just communicating with help of the service name guys now let me go to our UECA and let me restart I can say refresh if you observe I can see three instances running right two instances for service C and one instance for service B now let's try to hit our service B first okay now I got a response and let's go to our console and let's see here for this instance of uh, service application the log message got printed right now let me try to hit the service again if you observe now uh, the log message got printed for this instance for the port number 9098 right now if I hit the instance again um, if I hit the endpoint again now the request will go to the instance which have port number 9099 let's wait and see okay see here the request came to this particular service which has this port number 9099 it means it is distributing the request equally between the instances and let me try to hit the service again and again if you observe here you got two requests here and uh, we'll have another two requests in another instance right i hope you guys got some idea like um, how this uh, client side load balancing works with spring cloud okay if you have any queries, please comment it in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video.